hello everyone and welcome to the awareness and educational session with dr talha today we will disclose a case a very important and common in the society uh, and a very special case a newborn baby boy with a congenital cleft lip and palate uh, anemia and polyhydramnios The baby you are seeing on your screen has IDM syndrome which means that a mother had diabetes during pregnancy which often leads to a larger baby size and certain metabolic challenges. The baby you are seeing on your screen weighed around 4.3 kg which as you can guess is quite heavy for a newborn and was delivered through elective lower segment cesarean section which is commonly known as elm scs this means that the delivery was planned and done surgically through the lower part of the mother's abdomen and uterus instead of a normal vaginal birth such deliveries are usually performed when doctor want To, to ensure the safety of both the mother and baby for example uh, large baby size or medical complications like diabetes or high blood pressure in this case elmsc was the safest choice of uh, protect to protect both mother and baby during delivery the mother story is very deeply heart touching and emotional like she has a history of 10 pregnancies with five living children and four previous miscarriages the baby is her 10th pregnancy a long awaited blessing and a new ray of hope after years of emotional struggle its moments like these uh, remind us that every baby born in the nicu carries not just medical condition but also a powerful story of love endurance and faith babies with cleft lip and palate are born with an opening in the upper lip and rope of the mouth as you can see on the screen the face of the baby and the lip of the baby and the nose of the baby uh, they both are congested in each other which makes feeding and breathing very difficult for the newborn in this video as you can see a nursing staff is uh, providing ng ng feeding or feeding through a nasogastric tube to make sure the baby receive proper nutrition uh, safely this method helps prevent milk from entering the airway a common risk in babies with cleft palate along with that the baby is also on low flow oxygen via nasal prongs to support his breathing as babies with cleft lip and palate may struggle with airway management <clears throat> in this very uh, early ages such condition can happen due to multiple factors like genetics lack of folic acid during early pregnancy uncontrolled maternal diabetes or even certain environmental exposures during the first trimester so all the problem arises in the first trimester so in my every session i forces on this talk that every parent or every expecting mother when she comes to know that she is pregnant she should do a proper uh, weekly or monthly antenatal checkups in this case uh, it is important to remember these condition are not a curse or punishment rather they are a test and creation from god our responsibility as healthcare professional and as a society and as a community is to offer support treatment and compassion not judgment when a baby like this is born early care and intervention make all the difference parents often panic or lose hope when they see their baby with these type of congenital 
disorder but with proper medical attention these babies can lead completely normal and healthy lives breeding should be supervised by a neonatologist or pediatrician and surgery is usually planned and stages the clip lip repair around 3 months of age and the clip pellet repair around 9 to 12 months of age once the baby is medically stable and gaining weight properly in our nicu our first goal is stabilization ensuring the baby is breathing well feeding safely and gaining strength after that a team of specialists including plastic surgeons nutritionist speech therapist and pediatricians works together to plan a long term management the aim is not only to repair the visible defect but also to ensure proper speech feeding and emotional development later in life and last here is an advice for all the parents watching this and all expecting mothers remember prevention begins before pregnancy as i already told you in my uh, early sessions take regular antenatal checkups control blood sugar level if you are diabetic and start folic acid supplementation even before conception also avoid unnecessary medications smoking and exposure to harmful sub- substances during early pregnancy and please never skip ultrasound scans because early detection allows doctors to prepare and guide you in a better way in a safe way to have safe pregnancies to have healthy babies i also want to emphasize that children born with congenital condition like cleft lip and pellet are not different they are special they are more special than other babies they deserve love acceptance and equal opportunities like other ba- babies do and street up petty what they need most is understanding and encouragement many of these babies grow up to life healthy confident and successful lives proof that a condition at birth doesn't define their future in the future our mission as healthcare professional is to keep improving early detection neonatal care and surgical outcomes for such babies we are working toward a world where every baby regardless of their condition receiving the right to treatment dignity and hope as you watch this video remember that awareness saves lives